Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a flip through for you today. I um, just made a quick little journal and I didn't video the process or anything, but I just thought I would do a flip through because I'm using the papers that I got in my subscription kit from a house of books. And I will link that video below the unboxing that I did a while back. Um, so you can kind of see what came in my particular kit. I got the small version, um, but she does have other sizes. But anyway, I just thought um, that since I had done that unboxing, I would show you kind of how I ended up using some of those pages to create a little journal. So, um, this book is not super huge. Um, let me see what size it is. It's roughly like five by six. So, um, and for the outside here, what I used actually is one of the, um, uh, Tim Holtz backdrops and, um, and then I put some of the Tim Holtz corners on here. The, um, the kit that I got actually from House of Books had corners in it, um, but they were just the ones that kind of needed more, um, like a thicker page. And since this was just one piece of paper, these just worked better. But this fabric was in that kit as well. And then I had some eyelets. These are, these were actually brads in my stash. And so that's how I made my little closure. And I kept this long because I have a feeling this book is going to get kind of chunky and so that will just kind of help this stay closed as it grows. So I just did a um, single uh, signature um, journal here and I used um, a three hole pamphlet stitch to to bind it all together. So I'm just gonna show you, I used a lot of um, the papers that I got in my kit and I also used a lot of Tim Holtz products in here that you'll see. So I put some of the um, washi this is that linen tape from Tim Holtz. Here, this just kind of covers the backside of this Brad and then one of his new flashcards. And these are from his um, rub-ons, the remnant rubs. And then this was actually one of the papers that was in my, um, my kit from a house of books. So I'll just kind of go through here. This was, just, a few things were just kind of in my stash. Um, and I just went through and made, these are some remnant rubs. I made some um, little tuck spots and different things. These are Tim Holtz. This was from House of Books. I also added in here some other stuff that I had in my stash, like this is um, some Tomo River paper. And I included that because I just really like the way that this feels and it does really fun things. Um, this paper reacts really neat when you have like put medium and stuff on it. So, um, and then here I just created a pocket. These are all kind of Tim Holtz things, just lots of little tuck spots and places to journal here as well. Some vintage um, ledger paper. This was in my kit and I ended up kind of going with like a blue green kind of yellow theme here. These I actually got, um, I'm trying to remember, I got these from somebody on Instagram and I cannot remember her name right off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, but I got some of these um, little cards and I just have this kind of tucked in with a paper clip here and then I created a little pocket with one of the papers this is a really old paper and it kind of felt brittle so I was afraid to do too much with it so I just made a little pocket and I tucked one of the Tim Holtz journaling cards in there and this, so this is actually glued to the back side of another page that has like a quote and then I had some map paper in there and then um, this is a Tim Holtz um, flashcard and another one of his journaling spots. This paper back here is actually one of my leftover papers from By the Will for God um, from one of their paper packs. And then this is, again, that Tomo River paper. I also got some hymnal pages from my kit. Again, these are the Tim Holtz um, journaling spots here and some of the uh, linen tape again. I wanted to put this in the middle because I just really love this picture. And so I ended up putting it in the middle. Um, I just kind of folded it kind of off center. And then I added this journaling card and just to kind of make it a little bit bigger. And then I ended up actually making this into a pocket. I don't have anything in there right now, but um, so I have a little pocket behind there as well. I have another one of those little cards some more linen tape. That's really just to secure this because these 
cards and pieces are a little bit heavy. I wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to tear out. You can see this is the middle of my signature here. So this is the back side now with the hymnal paper. Again, another little tuck spot here. This is that same by the Will for God paper. I could just put some of that fabric washi here and another little tuck spot that you can, you know, put a, a tag or journaling card or whatever. And then some of these, I, I tried to leave some areas that I could still work with or um, add other things to. This is another Tim Holtz piece. I just have it paper clipped in there. And this was actually in the, um, in the kit that I got from House of Books. This was one of the pages. And I love this scripture, so I just kind of left it in there like that. And then I, I wasn't crazy about what was on the back, so then I just kind of covered that with a journaling card and some washi tape. And then here's that vintage um, ledger paper. And then here's the, another one of those cards, and I just created a little pocket here um, with a journaling spot. And then another journaling card here, some more Tomorrow River paper, just another page from my ephemera pack that I got. And then this journaling card is also just clipped in there that just, just to give some variety and that way you don't feel like it has to be, um, has to stay in there. And then I have a couple of ephemera pieces from Tim Holtz and then another little card that's just tucked in and just created a journaling spot here. And I just love some of the imagery and things that were in those, those pages. And so then here you can see just some more of that linen tape just to cover up the backside where this, um, this Brad came through the paper and then I just have this so that I can just wrap it up and then go around here. And like I said, I can, um, well, I can't do it on camera apparently, but I can, as this grows, you know, I left a little bit of length so I can kind of adjust as it, as it gets bigger. So anyway, I just thought I would share this little journal that I made. It was just a lot of fun. I just was, um, in the mood to create a journal and, um, since I had already shared the papers, I wanted to share kind of how, how you could use them and what I ended up doing with some of them. I still have a ton left over. I can make a lot more, um, a lot more journals out of just that one small, um, kit that I got. So anyway, if you, um, liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That just helps other people find my channel and until next time, bye.